The only freedom, which deserves, the name, is that of pursuing, our own good, in our own way, so long, as we do not, attempt to deprive, others of theirs, or impede their efforts, to obtain it. John Stuart Mill, no slave is a slave, to the same lengths, and in so full a sense, of the word, as a wife is, whatever crushes individuality, is despotism, by whatever name it may be called, and whether it professes, to be enforcing, the will of God, or the injunctions of men, we can never be sure that the opinion, we are endeavoring to stifle, is a false opinion, and even if we were sure, stifling it would be an evil still, he who knows only his own, side of the case, knows little of that, originality is the one thing which, unoriginal minds, cannot feel the use of, the fatal tendency, of mankind to leave off thinking, about a thing when, it is no longer doubtful, is the cause of half their errors. John Stuart Mill, what distinguishes, the majority, of men from the few is their inability, to act according, to their beliefs. The despotism of custom, is everywhere, the standing hindrance, to human advancement, the person who is nothing, for which he is willing to fight, nothing, which is more important, than his own personal safety, is a miserable creature, and has no chance of being, free unless, made and kept so by the exertions, of better men than himself. John Stuart Mill, the disease which inflicts bureaucracy, and what they usually, die from is routine. In all intellectual debates, both sides tend to be correct, in what they affirm, and wrong, in what they deny, that so few now dare to be eccentric, marks the chief danger of the time. The most, cogent reason for restricting, the interference of government, is the great, evil of adding unnecessarily, to its power, the individual is not accountable to society, for his actions in so far as these, concern, the interests of no person, but himself, eccentricity has always abounded, when and where strength, of character, had abounded, and the amount, of eccentricity, in a society has generally, been proportional, to the amount of genius, mental vigor, and courage which it contained. John Stuart Mill, I am not aware, that any community, has a right to force another, to be civilized, the only part of the conduct, of any one, for which he is amenable, to society, is that which concerns others, in the part which, merely concerns himself, his independence is, of right, absolute, over himself, over his own body and mind, the individual is sovereign, John Stuart Mill, it is questionable, if all the mechanical, inventions yet made, have lightened, the day's toil of any human being, we have a right, also, in various ways, to act upon our unfavorable opinion of anyone, not to the oppression, of his individuality, but in the exercise of ours, John Stuart Mill. All good things, which exist are the fruits, of originality, John Stuart Mill, a man who is nothing for which, he is willing to fight, nothing which is more important, than his own personal safety, is a miserable creature and has no chance, of being free, unless made and kept, so by the exertions, of better men than himself, although it is not true that all conservatives, are stupid people, it is true that most stupid, people are conservative, war is an ugly thing, but not the ugliest of things, the decayed, and degraded state, of moral and patriotic, feeling, which thinks, that nothing is worth war is much worse, John Stuart Mill, I have learned, to seek my happiness by limiting, my desires, rather than in attempting to satisfy them. The dictum, that truth always triumphs, over persecution, is one of the pleasant, falsehoods, which men repeat, after one another till they, pass into commonplaces, but which, all experience refutes, John Stuart Mill, the only purpose, for which, power can be rightfully, exercised over any member, of a civilized community, against his will, is to prevent, harm to others, his own good, either physical or moral, is not sufficient warrant, conservatives are not necessarily stupid, but most stupid people are conservatives. There are many truths of which the full meaning, cannot be realized until, personal experience, has brought it home, the amount, of eccentricity in a society, has generally, been proportional to the amount, of genius, mental vigor, and moral courage it contained.
that so few now dare to be eccentric, marks the chief danger of the time. John Stuart Mill, one person with a belief is equal to 99 who have only interests. A person may cause evil to others not only by his actions, but by his inaction. And in either case, he is justly accountable to them for the injury of two pleasures. If there be one which all or almost all who have experience of both give a decided preference irrespective of any feeling of moral obligation to prefer it that is the more desirable pleasure actions are right in proportion as they tend to promote happiness wrong as they tend to produce the reverse of happiness by happiness is intended pleasure and the absence of pain a party of order or stability and a party of progress or reform are both necessary elements of a healthy state of political life john stuart mill if all mankind minus one were of one opinion mankind would be no more justified in silencing that one person than he if he had the power would be justified in silencing mankind life has a certain flavor for those who have fought and risked all that the sheltered and protected can never experience all action is for the sake of some end and rules of action it seems natural to suppose must take their whole character and color from the end to which they are subservient. John Stuart Mill The liberty of the individual must be thus far limited. He must not make himself a nuisance to other people. John Stuart Mill All desirable things are desirable either for the pleasure inherent in themselves or as a means to the promotion of pleasure and the prevention of pain as long as justice and injustice have not terminated their ever renewing fight for ascendancy in the affairs of mankind human beings must be willing when need is to do battle for the one against the other john stuart mill unquestionably it is possible to do without happiness it is done involuntarily by 1928 of mankind pleasure and freedom from pain are the only things desirable as ends popular opinions on subjects not palpable to sense are often true but seldom or never the whole truth as for charity it is a matter in which the immediate effect on the persons directly concerned and the ultimate consequence to the general good are apt to be at complete war with one another john stuart mill all political revolutions not affected by foreign conquest originate in moral revolutions the subversion of established institutions is merely one consequence of the previous subversion of established opinions john stuart mill the duty of man is the same in respect to his own nature as in respect to the nature of all other things namely not to follow it but to amend it men might as well be imprisoned as excluded from the means of earning their bread the only power deserving the name is that of masses and of governments while they make themselves the organ of the tendencies and instincts of masses john stuart mill the general tendency of things throughout the world is to render mediocrity the ascendant power among mankind john stuart mill